Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, you may remember that Directionary did us a puzzle called Scooters once, which uh, the shapes looked like the various, well, like certain things that were called scooters that have been used in many American gymnasia, I believe, um, and were familiar to most Americans, but not all, and unfamiliar to Brits. But he's extended the scooters this time, and now they're skateboards, and those are familiar to everybody. You can see the sort of skateboard pattern of these shapes. It's lovely. Um, and the rule set's very, very similar. Well, I think, I imagine it's exactly the same, but the, the shapes are different, which is great. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Directionary is a great constructor. Not normally extremely difficult, which is maybe appealing. If you've been wondering, when should I start and give one of these puzzles a go, this might well be one to try. Um, but we'll do that in a moment. First of all, don't forget that on Patreon every month, as well as our Club Monthly Crossword Special, we've got... Um, we always have a patron reward for our patrons, and uh, it's a puzzle solving exercise of some sort. And July's was Kraken the Cryptic, open until the 20th of the month, but um, gets posted on the 1st. That's well worth joining patron for, for $2 a month for the puzzles, $3 a month if you want to see the solution videos too. Extra videos with me and Simon and what could go wrong. Um, you know, as if you don't get enough with our two a day. <laughs> um, and we've also got Sven Sudoku Pad, the merchandise, our apps, all linked under the video. Do check them out. Our apps are great. Uh, we highly recommend them. There is a Domino app, which features quite a number of these Kropke dots. But the first link is to this puzzle by Directionary, where the rules say the following. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so we're going to put one to nine in every row, column, and three by three box. Um, a purple line contains a set of consecutive digits in any order. So we could have three, five, four up here, or six, seven, eight. They could be in the ordinary order. Cells separated by a black dot contain digits with a one to two ratio. Cells separated by a white dot contain consecutive digits. That's all. We don't need any more rules for this puzzle. We've got one given five, thanks to the generosity of directionary. Um, and I, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Give it a try. I am going to start now. Let's get cracking. So, where do we start? Um, black dots are normally a little bit more informative than white. Ah, ah, okay, there are six black dot cells in box two. Now, there are only six Sudoku numbers that can go on black dots. They are, this is because the various pairs that you can form on a black dot are one, two, two, four, four, eight, and the oddy, three, six. So those digits that I've, those cells that I've highlighted contain one, two, three, four, six, eight. The others in the box must contain five, seven, and nine. Neither of these contains a nine because that would put a seven in a black dot position. The Ren band would need to be nine, eight, seven in some order. And all of the other cells on those skateboards have a black wheel. So they can't contain nine. So we've got a digit straight away. Well, not quite straight away, but quite quickly. That's a nine. Now, whichever one is a seven has a six, eight pair flanking it because it can't go down to five or up to nine. Oh. Um, I don't know. It's all it's all happening in box two. This is where the action is. Let's work out what these skateboards are telling me. I was going to say where's one, but maybe the, oh no. Yeah, I, I mean I keep forgetting these aren't on Ren bands. Obviously these can't contain a one or a two. Well, it's not obvious they can't contain a two, but two can't reach even five on a three cell Ren band. So they don't contain one or two. Uh, 
Oh, it's very obvious, is it? No, I was going to say that. That can't be a seven, I was going to claim. Because these would have to be six and eight, so they don't touch five or nine. Then these would be three and four. Then this would be a one, two pair. And I thought that was a problem for this Renban. Ah, oh, it is, because that can't be one or two. So this, can, oh, that's simple enough. This can't be one or two on this Renban. So this, if this was a seven, that would be a six, eight pair with three, four there. This would have to be one or two. So that's a five. This is a seven. These have to be six and eight on top of three and four over the, the black dot connections. I mean, that's right, isn't it? Now, we've still got, okay, we've got one, two, three, and four still to place. I don't know necessarily how that's going to work. It, I thought it was going to become, oh, this five. It can't have a seven on it, so it must have a four on one side. Eight has to be on, no, it could be two on the other side of the black dot of a four. So these are either, ah, right, that's intriguing. Five and four is definitely true on this Renman. The other digit, therefore, is three or six. And that is going to form a three, six pair. Whichever black dot the three or six goes on, it's going to form a pair. So three and six definitely get used up here. And that is an eight. Oh, isn't that weird? That's odd. Uh, well, it's even, you might say. So three and six get used up here, and four. This is one or two. That is now determined. Since this can't be four now, that is also one or two. And now whatever this is has to be over here. Okay, the way I'm going to do this now is that can't be a 3-6 pair because then this would be 1-2-4 and would break that cell. So that is the 4. This is the 3-6 pair. This must be a 2. This must be a 1. That's a 2. And now we've got 2 and 3 to go on this Renban. And this is either a 1 or a 6 and that's not determined now. This is not resolved by the Renban. That's fascinating. That I like that this three-cell Renban has an uncertain digit. And although we know it's in a three-six pair, we just don't know which one it is. That's weird. It's a strange puzzle, this. Right. Now, can we come down the grid? Yes. That two-four pair is incredibly useful. First of all, I was looking at that white dot and not being particularly helped. But that black dot forces this one not to be one, two, two, four, or four, eight. So it must be three, six. Oh, and there's no, nah, this is where the given five comes into play. Um, doesn't it? Well, I mean, if that's a six, this is a seven, eight pair, and we would know the order. If that's a three, I don't know, there must be a two on this Ren band, but maybe I'm no wiser than that. Oh look, here's a here's a naked triple, that very rare beast. These see four eight nine five in the column, three six in the box, that's a one two seven set. So this is a three six pair. Now how do these match up? Either three with two or six with seven. Seven is, oh, this is so odd. This puzzle is not working out how I, how I imagined. It's very different. Now, we've got, this is either a four, five or an eight, nine pair. I don't know which it is actually. Even knowing that that can't be a five and that can't be a four doesn't mean this can't be a four or five pair. 
So, let's do something different. What else? This group. Oh, this is really weird. This arch, this whole skateboard, including the wheels. This is all joined together. That, yeah, that's the... Oh, that's really strange, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to pose this as a question about where does 2 go in this box? Now, if it went on the Ren band, the Ren band would need a 3 on, so it can't. If it went here, well, fine, it could join up with a 1, but the 1 would need a 3 on the Ren band, and indeed another 2. I mean, it's just nonsense. The, th the 2 can't go anywhere in this arch shape. And therefore, it must go here. I'm inclined to say the one can't go anywhere in the arch shape because, again, you're going to run into this three problem. These all have to be connected, and they have to be connected in the group of digits that doesn't include one, two, three. So we do get a one up here, and look, that fixes this cell. That's weird. Six there, three and two. Now, these are either four, five... I suppose these have to be the outliers, do they? Yeah, they do. Why can't I see this in a logical way? This group of cells, th th this whole yellow area is either four, five, six, seven, eight, or five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and... Oh, it's got a four in it. So it is four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think it has to run as a sequence, one way around or the other. Because these are all joined together. That's an outlier, so it can't come from the same sequence. So it is on one end of this four-cell sequence. And this is similarly on one end of this four-cell sequence, and it must be the other end. These are the outliers, four and eight. Five, six, seven go here, and it's actually like a... a I don't know, a consecutive... It's like they're all white dots all the way around, a consecutive run. You get six in the middle and a five, seven pair, and this is one, nine. That's so odd and unintuitive. That six sees the central cell, so now we're moving down the central column. This six can't have a four on its Ren band, so it must have a seven on it somewhere. Oh, and it can't have an eight, so it is a seven, five pair. I was going to go, but they can't be on the dot, but it's a white dot. They can. It's fine. This is even, what, four, six, or eight, I suppose. Still haven't resolved these. Oh, this pair can't be six, three, and doesn't have a two in it. That is a four, eight pair. That can't be an 8, because we can't put a 7 on this Ren band. So that's a 4. Um, and this can't be a 6, because we can't put a 5 on the Ren band. So 3 there, that's now a 2. That hasn't looked up the grid. This is not a 4. 7, 3, 2, 4, 5. This is 8 or 9. And that, yeah, now that this can't be 4 or 5, they are a pair on this white dot. That is 8 or 9 as well. Um, now, what else have we got here? This has a 5 or a 4 on it, but... Oh, that... I want to say that can't be a 4. That's not true. I was thinking because there, there can't be a 5 or a 6 in these cells, but that's inaccurate. Um, this Ren band, though, is either 543 or 432. It has a 3 on it. That's here. That, then, is either 54 or 2. It can't be a 5, sorry, because of the 5 here. It's 4 or 2. This is odd, based on the white dot, and it can't be 3 or 5. So that's 1. That's 2. 4, 5, 2, 1. These dots have been so... And well, in fact, the whole skateboards have been so helpful that I'm very sad I'm suddenly now running out of them. Um, 
Yeah, it's an intriguing puzzle. Oh, right, that sees that five. So seven, five, six. That's eight or nine. We can place one in the row. That sorts out a nine there. That can't be a four. Chocolate teapot triple in row three alert. Um, that's five or seven. That's a pair. So that sorts out the teapot triple. Four, nine, five. Right. That four is now looking down at this. Yes. Okay. So that archway is complete. Let's get rid of the colouring. That's become a five. Six in the column goes there. We get two and three, dodging a three in the corner. One, eight there. Seven, oh, sorry. What did I do? One, eight here is what I did. Then I was trying to type in here. Seven, nine. This three, six is resolved. That's eight or nine. I don't know which. Uh, those are seven and nine. The high digits are not resolved in this puzzle yet. Three, six, one, five, two. One of these is a four, not helpful. Okay, five in column two is there. Let's pick off individual digits if we have to. That is a naked nine. That's very helpful, actually. Sees five, three, six, two, one in the column, seven, four, eight in the row. That is a naked nine. And that is going to sort out lots of these high digit problems. Not quite all of them yet, but two, eight, seven, five, five, nine, one. Central box is finished. Seven and eight as a pair. This is an I wing three. That's a four, flanked by a one and two. I can do the order. That's a seven. Nine, three, two. We need a six there. One, four, he says typing five, eight. One, eight, right. That's a seven. That's an eight. This is hideous. Oh, no, I thought I was going to get a seven, nine deadly pattern, but I'm not, of course, because directionary is too good a constructor to allow that to happen. I think nine finishes the puzzle. That is not too bad at all. I'm quite pleased with that solve, and I really like the puzzle. That That was very interesting, the way it came together. I suppose it's a bit of a... <laughs> A free start in a way, but you had to think quite carefully about about the centres of these skateboards. I know nothing about skateboarding, I'm afraid, so I can't relate that to actual skateboarding in real life. But at least we don't, at the end of this, have to say to our skater boy, why you've got to be so complicated. It wasn't that complicated. It was good fun. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye for now.